Hey y'all, Moses here. Just wanted to let you know that this month we are running a Logitech Pro giveaway. That means we're giving away one of these guys right here, the G Pro Wireless, great mouse. And uh, also, to go with it, the G Pro keyboard back there as well. Great products, both of which I'm using right now. Links in the description to enter, and I hope you win. Hey y'all, Moses here. Today we're talking about a topic that I think is pretty important to the overall landscape of PUBG, and that is the perception of hacking and the problem it causes in PUBG. Now, uh, we had an interesting moment on the stream today where at first glance, I was destroyed by a guy who was obviously hacking. And now a lot of the people in my chat were talking about how clear it was. And I spent a little bit of time going through the replay and kind of dissecting uh, the different aspects of it and kind of came to the conclusion that maybe what I saw was not entirely true. Now, there's a lot of uh, history and painful history at that with hacking in PUBG. Through early access and the first part of 1.0, cheating was very prevalent and a lot of effort and time went into uh, battling that issue, which was really affecting the game in a lot of different ways. Uh, the death cam was introduced, which I don't think really alleviated too much of that pain because in the early days, and even to this day, the spectator and death cam do not re represent one-to-one -one action in PUBG, and that can be very confusing to look at. So I see time and time again how people talk about getting killed by cheaters all the time, how often they run into hackers, etc. And I wanted to take this time to kind of show you guys that with a little bit of care and attention, that you can start making more accurate reports. And maybe that if you look a little bit closer, um, what appears to be outright hacking might be a little bit different than that. So we're going to jump into a replay, and I'm going to show you guys what I experienced today, and hopefully that gives you a little bit more of a perspective on just what kind of situation we're looking at from a hacking perspective or cheating, whatever you want to call it, in PUBG today. So let's jump right in. All right, so at this stage, I'm hunting Glitch TV here. This is someone I've heard killing uh, in Pajinki for some time. And I can hear where he's at in this next house. I'm trying to get a line on him, and I'm just kind of tracing him around. Didn't want to silhouette my legs to that window, because I kind of figured he'd be looking down at me and looking for any visual information. I hear him running around, just looking for an angle. And at this stage, I hear him hit the ground down below, and I go to find him. And this is essentially the beginning of my death cam right here, and I'm just going to let it play out for you. Pretty, pretty quick, hey, how he uh, both started firing and turned at the same time. Now, uh, at this stage, I was thinking it was desync or something like that, uh, because as I've talked about a little bit recently, that I've discovered that all traffic is being routed through the east coast of, of North America, so I have about 100 ping on average, pretty high. So I assume that glitch here was from somewhere else, Europe, China, wherever. Uh, so at that stage, I decided that that looked suspect enough that I wanted to watch his replay. And most people right at this stage would automatically report him because of the way that looked. It looked pretty bad, right? Uh, and just for reference, if you're wondering, this is what it looked like again. Doesn't look great. I had the drop on him and everything. All right, so I've gone a little bit further back and I've uh, picked out another engagement uh, that happened just before he met, he met me. And this was another big thing that I thought uh, was a clear indicator that he was cheating. Here's the footsteps of the guy running to the house. So to me, he just shot at that door to try and get the kill on the guy and aimed basically right at him through the door. Doesn't look good. So those are the two most egregious things I've seen so far. And I go even further back. All right, so at this stage, he is fighting this guy Vanquisher across the way. I'm going to turn the x-ray on. He knows he's there. Just peeking. Get into a car 98 battle. Probably not the wisest choice. 
But just, just fishing. Just trying to get an angle. Whatever. And in my mind, he's looking at him through the wall. So here is where I get even more suspect. And at this stage, uh, I was like, okay, something's not right. Keeps looking at that angle. And he pre-aims pre that angle and starts taking shots. Now, he doesn't get the kill here. But in my mind, all right, this guy is cheating 100%. And maybe yours too. But let's just start now to dissect what this is, okay? And this is not a story that is clear, all right? I'm not saying that this guy, there's no chance that this guy was cheating. But there is some due diligence required before you completely label someone a cheater, and that's just looking a little bit closer. So in this case, what you might not have noticed in that little engagement right there is that Vanquisher over here actually opened this door. So this door opening right here is actually in vision of, of Glitch TV way over here. So he saw from his vantage point that that door opened and used his decent game sense to then watch Vanquisher kind of come around, come, come out of this corner, and uh, that led to the, the shots again. You can see coming his way, and Vanquisher's had enough. And then beyond that, so he can hear the footsteps of Narak there on your left side of the screen uh, pretty clearly. So he knows just at this stage, if you're a d halfway decent player, you know that he's at the edge of the hallway. Spamming the door in that way is maybe specifically for vision. It's not meant to try and kill the player. He's just being smart with, instead of just opening the door, giving himself a bit of a vantage point, which he then uses to spray again. Now the door is essentially fully destroyed at that stage. Comes around to see if he can get a better angle. Is he pushing? Maybe not. And then, Repeaks again and gets the kill. So this is what prompted me to come over here at this stage. Now this is this actual first point where we come back to is the only thing I can't explain, um, and that is his reaction to me pushing. Because he comes in and loots, and he actually all this all this audio information is what I'm hearing when I come to him. So he can he can hear me playing his day coming his way. In fact, when he comes out of this place, he doesn't even look towards me. He's just around. And at this point, actually, he sees me run right past and doesn't even doesn't even think about it. He's looking the other way. He's so far he's so far wrong as to where I am, he turns his back to me entirely. He thinks I might be between the buildings or wherever. I don't know what happens. But here is just, I, I don't know. I assume that there is desync or whatever involved or panic on his, start, on his end. The initial spray is him maybe knowing that I was right behind him based on the footsteps I put out. And his reaction was one of panic and good control. Now I looked into Glitch since he came into my uh, since he came into my chat afterwards to kind of profess while I was watching this replay that he wasn't hacking, uh, and of course he was getting accused, etc. Uh, but after looking into him a little bit, he's uh, an Osu player with the little uh, little pen requires a lot of a lot of finesse with a uh, with a mouse and keyboard or a pen and keyboard depending on how you play the game. So essentially, the point I'm trying to make here is that looking at all of these things combined. I did not believe that there was enough evidence to suggest that he was cheating 100%, which is what you should do as well. Maybe not to this extent, but before freaking out and thinking that everyone's hacking, you should spend a little bit of time reviewing your gameplay, seeing if there's something missing that maybe you didn't see in the first place. You might learn something about your own style, or you might learn something about the people you're facing day to day in the game. I think that's a tremendously important skill or a tremendously important uh, routine to go through to improve your gameplay. Because one thing I think this game and the community suffers from is laziness when it comes to understanding that there are so many factors at play that perhaps something that on the outset looks like hacking could be as simple as a mistake that you made or something, a factor that is beyond your immediate assumption that the guy is cheating. 
Uh, so I think that if people spent a little bit more time looking at their own gameplay and looking at the gameplay of others, they would get a better fundamental understanding as to what they're doing wrong. And I think that that might alleviate some of the frustration and some of that witch hunting that we've seen in the past that is definitely a leftover of, uh, of, a, of a time where hacking was a real, real problem in PUBG. Uh, I'm not saying that all hackers are gone, but I can tell you that in all of my hours of gameplay, I have only ever reported two people since 1.0 that I was absolutely sure were hacking. And that is after thousands of hours of gameplay or hundreds at the very least. Um, so something to consider. I hope that this video um, hits the right tone and that you guys get some decent understanding out of it and that uh, you can always be better at this game. Believe me, I know that as I just got completely destroyed by someone who wasn't even looking at me. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to check out the Twitch where I did all this. It's twitch.tv slash WTF Moses and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash WTF Moses. Don't forget to join the giveaway I mentioned at the beginning of the video and until next time, I'll see you out there.